We are now ready to do the last part of the removal of the background. This part is going to be pretty quick because we are almost done. Uh, let me just uh, press the Alt key and roll the wheel on the mouse to zoom out. So now, um, now I'm gonna go for the um, zoom in a little bit using the same technique. Now, right click and uh, refine edge. Oh. Uh, and on this case, I didn't have to invert the selection because it gives you a pretty decent idea of what you want you're selecting so now I'm going to smooth the edges put all the way to the 100 so now I'm gonna feather to around maybe five it all depends on the piece we are working on in this case I put five pixels sometimes I put seven depends if the piece the back of the shank is very out of focus then you have, you have to, to put a little more uh, feathering but on this case the, the back of the shank even though it's, it's out, of sh out of focus is not uh, this much so let's say okay so now it's time to uh, let me go back just to make sure the fine edges uh, everything looks fine okay so now it's time to delete control zero just to do a zoom out and delete so now control D to remove the selection and everything seems to be pretty fine I would just do a final touch up uh, out zoom in, roll in the wheel the mouse uh, let me just do a, like uh, a final touch up here let's just do a feathering here like three, that sounds good and uh, in here too Feathering of three and uh, here too. Uh, feathering three. Okay, and uh, finally here. Okay, so feathering, three, delete. So control D, remove the selection. Everything looks fine. So now let's remove the entire background. I'll make a circle around the white part surrounding the piece. So now press control shift I to invert the selection. And then I press delete remove everything else now control D to remove the selection and there we go we have the entire ring with the background removed with pretty decent uh, like zooming pretty decent details now showing here and uh, the back of the shank don't look very sharp it's all blurry like it's supposed to be now I just wanted to add that uh, uh, I use this technique for um, the piece with that was showing on, on this angle. But for example, on, on this angle of the piece, you have to use your your common sense to make the adjustments of the techniques I showed. For example, you can use the one tool on this side and on this side here, even on the center part here, and uh, the piece is reasonably sharp down here and uh, down here too it's pretty sharp so the blurry part of the shank is much smaller it's this part here and this part here only from here to here maybe from here to here and uh, from here to here 
and I would use instead of uh, when I do the the fine edge feathering I would not go to to five I would go to four for example on this uh, small portion of the, the shank because the whole piece looks sharper it's just a matter of um, looking at what you have and uh, making a judgment call you you cannot simply use uh, the same rule for every photograph it's just you just have to use common sense so there you go that's the end of my um, white background selection with Photoshop